Kalyani, the last one I remember making her as a specialist batter, making it uh, the debut was Beth Mooney, if I'm not wrong. 2016 uh, against New Zealand. Yes, it was. So, 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 is it going to be another wicketkeeper batter who does not play as a wicketkeeper in the team? Georgia Redman making her debut in the series. I honestly don't think so because see the the role of Rachel Haynes in this side is just not of a uh, batter. She controls the innings with. Meg Lanning in the field. There is that backup plan for Meg Lanning in the field, and I think why Georgia Redman will not get the chances because she hasn't played a lot. In uh, she returned from hundred, she was spectacular in the hundred. All things understood, but that this is Tala Tala Madra getting the space instead of Georgia Redman. One is because there is this obsession of Australia with all rounders, and Beth Mooney was the last person to make debut in twenty sixteen, and the other thing is that if if you give debut to georgia redmen the balance of the side gets kind of uh, uneven and since 2017 ashes t20 series the goal of this australian squad has been to maintain that balance and that's why so many uh, good players are still out of the side so let me let me let me disagree with you here i just feel that australia cannot be imbalanced or there will not be any balance issue even if redmen plays and uh, magra does not play they have enough and more all rounders except meg lanning beth muni alisa ili everyone can bowl like there is a balance issue they they find then something like a world cup match against sri lanka happens so i don't think uh, that they are going they they ever going without that balance and i think that what costed them in the 2017 world cup uh, semi final not having that balance and since then it has been a monkey on their back that they need more balance side and that's why i think they'll go with um, talamagra instead of georgia redmen